per second at the San Diego Civic Theater. Now That's, we know why, but this we the always science. know. Yes. <laughs> you guys tell impressed? Us every day. Yes. yes. <laughs> Still doesn't change it. <laughs> it doesn't change it. No, absolutely not. Yeah, like I said yesterday, as long as the water temperature continues to be that warm, evaporation is just going to make it pretty humid. Now there's two kinds of humidity that we have to deal with. You have the source coming from the ocean, and then we have the monsoonal moisture. So now we have it coming from both directions. And right now it's looking beautiful out there, but it's definitely feeling muggy. We have all this monsoon flow coming out of the out of the four corners and it's going to trigger showers and thunderstorms for another day. We've seen a couple of those thunderstorms this afternoon, but everything is starting to just kind of die down. You see that flow continues trending right over the same locations. We actually had a flood advisory there this afternoon, one yesterday, and it's possible that we may have another one tomorrow. Now in our 10 news pinpoint rain future cast, you can see that flow continues streaming into San Diego County. And then as we go into the overnight hours, we may see a couple of those showers actually making it all the way to the coastline. So don't be surprised if you wake up tomorrow morning and things are just damp or wet from the overnight hours. Now you know why because of that monsoonal flow that's still in place. We're going to have to deal with it for another day. It'll be most likely into the afternoon hours when we'll see those thunderstorms tomorrow and they could also bring heavy rain, lightning and also gusty conditions. The air will start to dry out on Friday in the morning though. We'll see some clouds along the coastline as the system will be developing just over our west and that's going to bring those clouds Friday and Saturday. Expect plenty of sunshine nonetheless, so we'll see clouds early and then sunny conditions once again. Overnight, we're dropping it down to 70 degrees and Palomar Mountain tonight. It'll be mild in Chula Vista, down to 70, 73 in San Diego and up and down the coast. Not much of a break, although 69 degrees does feel good. 69 in Alpine and 66 in Ramona. As we fly across the county tomorrow, you'll see those temperatures in Chula Vista, 79 degrees. We're still pretty warm into our inland communities for this time of the year. Areas like Poway should average around 87, 86 degrees, so certainly above normal. Also places dealing with above average heat, Ramona, Santee, 94 degrees for tomorrow in Del Mar, 76 and 87 in Lemon Grove, in Vista, 83, 90 Escondido, 89 in Fallbrook, and up in Temecula also 94 degrees for tomorrow in Oceanside around 83 degrees 107 for Borrego 83 in Mount Laguna in our 10 news pinpoint seven day forecast out the coast temperatures will stay closer to 80 degrees over the weekend 80 to 81 and next week not much of a change but certainly it is much better than it was last week. Now, as we look ahead in our inland communities, the numbers are not fluctuating much Thursday, Friday and into the weekend. But next week we will see the temperatures going up again. Another heat wave expected to begin next Wednesday and the humidity most likely is going to be back next week. So that's also going to make it especially uncomfortable. Days to watch for fire danger Friday and Saturday mm. as humidity drops makes it comfortable, mm -hmm. but increases the fire danger. You've had some interesting Interesting Fridays the last couple of yeah. weeks. Yes, we have. Fingers crossed.